guys, it's Elias. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over what changes when you go past the break-in period in this car. This car being, of course, the C8 Corvette. So just as a reminder, I have a C8 Corvette with a Z51 package, magnetic ride. It's got the performance data recorder, which includes the higher end radio, or whatever that's worth. And I've been loving every minute of it. So I recently took a trip all the way to Maine. It was my anniversary trip, so I didn't do too much filming. And I'll go over how this car is on a long road trip. First, I want to go over what changes. What changes occur to the car when you pass the 500 mile braking period? So obviously, when you're braking in the car, there's a number of things you got to be careful with. You got to don't do full starts, don't do full stops, don't don't drive it too hard. Obviously, don't drive it past the red line, 3500 uh, RPM red line. You have to be aware that the vehicle is just breaking in, especially the engine. Uh, not just the engine though, when you get the tires, the tires aren't all that uh, worn in yet, so every time you get new tires, it's the same thing. Every time you get new brake pads, you have to burnish them in, make sure that they work properly. So, of course, when you get a new car, all of that applies. Now, after the break-in period, all of that goes away. Now, I went, I went over what you need to do to make sure you break in this car properly in a separate video. If you missed that, I'll put the link down below. But after you do it properly, it's time to have some fun. And what do I mean by fun? Well, you get all 500 horsepower, 495 horsepower that this car has. Quite a game changer, I'll tell you that. Right, so here's the things that change. First, obviously, the red line changes 3500 RPMs to around 6000 to 6500 RPMs. That's a big change, and uh, that gives you basically all the power that you can dream of. Up to 500 miles, the car doesn't have its full horsepower unleashed yet, not just because it's limiting your, your revs, but the tune on the ECU doesn't click over until after you hit 500 miles. So as you're driving the car, the car feels pretty slow, actually, now that I'm comparing it to after the break-in period. Now, you don't notice it when you first get into it, but after the change happens and you hammer it, man, it is night and day. It is 100 extra horsepower, it's basically what the estimates are. It's quite a difference. So that, that's quite a change right there. And now all of the car's performance has been unleashed. So once you unleash all the car's performance, you get the real feel of what this car is all about. And it really is a very high performance car. I mean, there's no way around it. This thing moves. Without an American V8, you're missing out. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's never gonna 
gonna get old. It's never gonna get old. Obviously, one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that the car is still breaking in. So you're still gonna wanna change, in my opinion, you're still gonna, gonna wanna change up your RPM range, let's say when you're on the highway. That RPM range uh, is super important to change as the engine continues to break in. I don't think an engine really breaks in until around 10,000 miles fully, right? And what, what is braking? Well, braking in is, is all the pistons, everything that the engine has that moves around are made to certain clearances and certain tolerances. And the newer the engines are, the less tolerance there, there is in the engine. So as things wear in, they have to wear in together at a certain pace, at a proper pace. And if they don't wear in together properly, you end up having possibly a little bit less power than you're supposed to get if you have less pressure, for example, in your, in your cylinder. Uh, head or in your in your combustion chamber, but it could also possibly lead to a failure, and that's basically why GM smartly limited your rev limiter to 3,500 RPMs. So while I'm keeping the RPMs varied, I am obviously having as much fun as possible. engines you feel the back end just holding it down wow <laughs> oh man one of the thing that the manual says up to 1500 miles you should be checking your oil every time you fill up your gasoline uh, tank I would say you continue to do that up to 5,000 miles. Keep on checking your oil, make sure the oil level doesn't go up or down. Uh, you don't want either fuel dilution if you don't drive the car and get it hot enough. And you obviously don't want to lose any oil uh, and uh, possibly lose lubrication. That'd be a big problem. So I'm still gonna continue to do that, obviously. It's just uh, now that after the break-in happens, I'm going to, I'm starting to drive the car as it's meant to be driven, which is honestly a huge difference. V8 grips, turbo four cylinders do not replace V8s at all. Turbo fours never replace a 6.2 liter Chevrolet V8. Man, can they make a V8. What a great engine this is. Really opens up the sound profile as well. So when you downshift, let's say you, you're going a little bit fast, and then you basically downshift for the second, way past 6,000 RPMs. You get a lot of amazing burbles coming out of this thing. Highly recommended. difficult to not floor the pedal and just feel the power and acceleration that this thing has. Prior to braking, I was getting around 19, maybe uh, 25 miles a gallon, sometimes on the highway. Now I'm getting like 12. I just can't keep my foot out of it. Well, now that the engine's broken in, I expect to uh, Expect me to have a lot more fun on this thing and expect me to have a lot more opinions on how this thing performs. Coming from you know Hondas for the most part, you're gonna understand that I've never had this level of performance before. This is a whole nother universe for me that I need to start getting used to. It's something that most people don't really get to experience in their lifetimes. I'm glad I am because this thing's a beast, and I really can't wait to get on the track to, to start testing it with some instrumentation. I bought some zero to 60 gear uh, to see uh, how much exactly I'm getting. Zero to 60 now, it is the middle of winter. We're starting to be in the middle of winter, so it could be an issue. 
uh, to get traction, but we'll see how we can do. So if you guys like these videos and enjoy these type of videos, uh, please let me know in the comments, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.